Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Sunday, May 1st, 2016. The tarot card for today is the chariot. Welcome to May. Oh my goodness, you know, I have to tell you, right now we have five planets retrograde, and this is such a great card to start the month with, because the chariot, you know, this is about taking back the reins of your life. So what a way to start the month to, to be able to get a hold of things and feel like you're getting back in control. Yes, because last week was such an interesting week or this this past week. And oh my goodness. So here you are. Now, several things come to mind when I see that this card has come up and I'm going, hmm, 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 hmm. Let's, let's get the let's get the Mercury retrograde thing out of the way here. Now, the chariot, could this be your vehicle? How many of you have had vehicle trouble? Uh, trips, unplanned trips? Yeah, you know, there's that thing about not taking trips that, you know, really weren't planned out as well as they could be. Very, very important when Mercury's retrograde. Make sure that your vehicle is well maintained. If you stop and think about it today and you go, oh yes, the so is right. I'm due for an oil change. My brakes are squeaking. Things are happening. Make yourself a note today. Get on the phone first thing tomorrow morning. Call your mechanic, your regular mechanic, not somebody new that you don't know, and schedule maintenance for your vehicle, okay? These are the things you're supposed to be doing now while Mercury's retrograde. And it really, instead of all the horror stories that everyone has, this helps prevent. You know, it's like that uh, ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, something like that. Um, okay, so vehicle, because we want to avoid breakdowns, accidents, things of that nature. So that's like the physical chariot, your ride. And don't go driving around just because it's Sunday and looking in, you know, the car dealer lot saying, oh, yeah, I think I want to buy a new car. It's not the time. Uh, I'd, I'd say wait until we get to hmm, the end of May to start looking and then don't make a decision until sometime in June. All right, so that's it for the car thing and the Mercury retrograde thing. Now back to the chariot. Like I said, what a great way to start the month. Getting back in the driver's seat and taking control of your life. And this involves so many different things. See, because this is like the second card within this week's time span that represents a victory in your life. So, you know, you're starting to feel better about things that you are able to, you know, be going in the direction that you think you need to be going. Yeah, this is good. Now, there is a lot of determination on your part to get back on the road, feel like you're back on the right path. And this will certainly help you. Now, some of you You've also had a little bit of difficulty with willpower, maybe. All right, we'll, we'll label it willpower just for purposes of, let's say you've been so stressed out for, it seems like umpteen years because it, it's just been like the longest stretch in your life where you thought, you know, the universe was relentless and would never let up on you. Now you're finally starting to feel like it's going to leave you be or let you recover. Okay, so let's just say that. So what's this have to do with your willpower? Well, so many of you with, you know, stress and whatever may have a tendency to have health problems crop up, overeating. You know, the health problems may be a result of overeating, eating the wrong things, eating junk food, just that, you know, mindless eating that happens and you don't pay any attention to it. So there's a lot going on here. The energy may be coming in now to help you overcome these things, to help you get back on the right track where maybe you can think of 
a new exercise program, you know, coming up at the new moon or something like that that you can initiate. So there's a lot going on here, but the general feeling of this is most definitely that you're feeling that you're finally back maintaining some control, not trying to pull the reins in, not like you have this runaway life that you just can't put the brakes on. So here you are now feeling like you're, you're at a, a gentle gallop. Let's put it that way. All right. So I want to thank you all for listening and I'll see you here tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.